Hello everyone, welcome to our meet and greet. My name is Amanda Freeland and I'm super excited to be here with you tonight to interview some of the coaches on Team Fireflies and love, love my new sweatshirt, um, some team logo, something fun that we do and I'm representing the team tonight. So I love interviewing coaches because there are so many different and unique stories on this team. Everyone has a different background, a different life experience, a different life situation currently. Some of the women on our team work 50 plus hours a week, have two jobs, have kids, they're married, they're, you know, mentoring people. It's it's incredible what we can really accomplish in a day. And they also are a part of this team. They also coach. They also have a focus on their self-care. Other women on our team are stay-at-home moms who work part-time and they feel like they were missing something that was just for them. They didn't feel like they had that connection to other people and I was a stay-at-home mom for a long time and a part-time stay-at-home mom for quite a while after that and I still am a couple days a week a stay-at-home mom so I can totally relate to that. All right so kind of both ends right of um you know, wor women working who have careers and maybe women like me who had a career who chose to be a stay-at-home mom and then decided I, you know, I missed that connection and feeling successful and wanting to do something more. And then we do have women on the team who are stay-at-home moms and gosh, what a big job, right? And they really want that connection and we have something in between, right? People all in between. So tonight you'll hear from four different coaches, um, a little bit from me, but also from four other coaches. And I wanted to start tonight by sharing a quote with you from one of my favorite books. And I wouldn't have read this book if I wasn't a part of this team because a huge part of what we do is personal development. We believe that if you're really going to live up to your potential and be your best self in every area of life, you have to work on your mindset. A lot of us aren't reaching our potential, not because it's not there, not, not because we can't be successful, because we can, we all have that potential. It's because in our mind, we hold ourselves back and there's reasons for that. So Darren Hardy wrote The Compound Effect. I read it cover to cover two times in a row. It's by far still one of my favorite personal development books since joining as a coach and I've read so many, but he says, seek out, seek out positive people who have achieved the success you want to create in your own life. Remember, never ask advice of someone with whom you wouldn't want to trade places with. So I love that quote and I wanted to start with sharing that today because I feel like if you're here, if you are invited by someone to be here, there's a reason, okay? Someone invited you because they see some kind of potential in you. And maybe you haven't seen it in yourself yet, but we know it's there. There are so many people on this team who believe that anything is possible when you set your mind to it, but all of that really truly starts with self-care and that's what we believe on Team Fireflies is that self-care fuels life. When you're taking time for you and taking time for your own self-care, whatever that looks like for you, if it's deciding to read 10 minutes a day, gosh, would that change your life? It could with personal development, but when you surround yourself, like he said, when you seek out people who have, who have had success in life that you want, maybe you saw someone on this team and they posted about this meet and greet and you see that they're living out this healthy life and they're happy every day and they're enjoying their life and they have a good relationship with their spouse and a great relationship with their kids. Why is that? It's not because they're special. It's not because they have something you don't. It's because they've worked on their self-care and their mindset. And that's so important on this team. We want as many women, mostly women on this team, we want as many women as possible to feel like they have control over their mindset. So um, Sarah, who you'll hear from in a little bit, 
always says we work on our mindset and our midsection on this team, and I love that. So it's true, we do. We read personal development, we, we work through things, we support each other, we're each other's biggest cheerleaders. This isn't a team where anything's necessarily required of you, but whatever you do, whatever you decide to do, we will cheer you on so hard. You'll... I don't know. I don't know if you're team people or not, if you're watching and you are on a team, but you know that feeling of just being so supported and so loved by people, even when you're down. That's what this team does, which is pretty cool. So I hope that helps um, you just kind of get the vibe for what our team is about. A very loving, supportive, self-care focused environment to help you unlock more potential and just to surround yourself with people who really believe that self-care fuels life. So a little bit about me and my journey, and then we'll move on to interviewing Sarah, who is the founder of Team Fireflies, and we love hearing from her. So she's my coach, and she invited me to this opportunity, but my story is a little bit different. So when you talk about hesitations or fears with joining, I didn't have any because... All I knew was when I started drinking Shakeology, I felt so much better, so fast. It was crazy. My body must have been starved of so many nutrients that I started drinking Shakeology and felt a huge shift in my health. And then that made me feel more confident. And then I started losing weight and I wanted to keep feeling that way. It's that positive spiral that you want to get into in your health and fitness where you feel a little better. So you keep working on it and you feel a little better and your confidence grows. So you try new things and you feel even better and you lose more weight. It's that positive spiral that we want to get into because that's where habits will be created. And that's what started my journey was Shakeology really and how much better I felt. So Sarah said to me one day, hey, did you know you can get a discount on this? I was a kindergarten teacher in a ton of debt and was like, okay, sign me up, right? I didn't I didn't question. I knew Sarah. I trusted her. I didn't mind being a part of the, the team and I definitely didn't mind paying $16 a month if it meant I would save even more on this great shake every month, right? So from there though, this is the kicker though. When you talk about fears and hesitations, the fear and hesitation kicked in with my mindset. I I really struggled as a later teen and young um, in my early 20s with so much with my mindset because so much had happened when I was a kid and a youth and with my family that I held on to that and I let it define me and I let it define what I was capable of and I didn't think that I was the right kind of person to be a coach. I wasn't sure that I could really help people um, or that anyone would want my help, you know, and I was honestly fearful to ask people to pay for Shakeology, which I, which seems crazy now because I have had such success with it. I loved how Shakeology made me feel and I should have wanted to share, it feels selfish now. I should have wanted to share that with more people the first two years I was a coach instead of just saying, oh, I'll get my discount. I don't want to bother anyone. It's not bothering someone to offer them better health. Gosh, that's crazy to look back now, right? Hindsight is twenty twenty. So after about two, two and a half years, I was talking to Sarah and telling her I was frustrated as a kindergarten teacher. My career wasn't advancing anywhere. I kept talking about wanting to be in a leadership position. No one was taking me seriously. That didn't feel good. I worked my butt off. I was a great teacher, but it just didn't feel... I knew something was missing. And Sarah said to me, "Try, please try this brand new training that we have on our team. Trainings are free. And I said, okay. I was that coach. I said, okay, I'll do it. But if it doesn't work for me, I'm you know, I'm done after that. So I did the training and from there I first my I helped my first couple of people and I haven't stopped. Um and that feels really good. So my more of my hesitation came from um, my mindset. And then since then, my life is totally different. I've made a career of health and wellness. I don't teach anymore. Um, I work part-time at a, at an athletic club. I work part-time in Beachbody and I'm a part-time stay-at-home mom. So I do a little bit of everything, which is fun and fills me up. I get to be home with my kids and I get to do things that I love and work with people all over the country, which is great. Financially, this opportunity has been incredible. We've paid off so much debt. We live very much stress-free where 
Um, backtrack six years ago, I had to tell Ben, hey, we only have $40. You can't spend any money this week. That's all we have in the account. Or tell me if you need gas or tell me like you can have $5. But, you know, that didn't feel good as two working adults. He has a master's degree. Oh, my gosh. People should not have to live like that. Um, to now where we don't have to have that discussion. We have an understanding about what's responsible and not financially, but there's no stress about gas. There's no stress about groceries. There's no stress about if our kids need something or paying for baby formula, right? That's a huge stress for so many people. And that's just been um, pretty incredible with this opportunity. So we're really grateful for that. And it's just fun to help people and have it be a job, right? That that's amazing. More women need to know about this opportunity because women are naturally caregivers and we want to help other people and make them happy. So why not make a little extra income too, if you can? And of course, all of the mindset, personal development, all of that too has been a huge game changer. So I am so excited to welcome my friend and coach, Sarah Morrison, on to the live. Let's see, Sarah, would you like to invite yourself? I hope you have your headphones. <laughs> Let's see. So she'll be our first interview. Oh, and you can do business calls and have a glass of wine. Hey. Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> I have my headphones. I look ridiculous. <laughs> Where are your no, headphones? You look beautiful. Well, I oh, don't necessarily thanks. need. As, oh, because you're the host, so you don't need headphones. I love how you're like. I hope you have your headphones. Oprah Junior, right here. <laughs> so you have your oh, fly nice. on too. Peace. It's kind of okay. It's in and out of my end, but do you is it okay on your end? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, I'm here. Thanks for hosting. Yay. Thank you for being on. So the first question, of course, that we always ask is, you know, what were your fears or hesitations with joining as a coach? So, and Sarah, of course, why don't you add a little bit more about who were you before coaching? Oh, gosh. Um, you know, I went to school to be a broadcast journalist honestly, just because someone told me one day they thought I'd be good on TV. Like I really did not put a lot of thought into my future at all. And that was kind of the story of my life is just kind of going through the motions without really a plan, um, w without ever really realizing that, hey, I might be able to do amazing things if I tried, you know. <laughs> so I was a broadcast journalist and uh, I was making the best of it. It wasn't something that I got super excited about. I realized I was going to have to work long days and move all over the place and not have a community really, because I just keep moving from market to market. And like when I started as a broadcast journalist, I made $17,000 a year out of college. And my second job that I got, I made $28,000 a year, which was like, holy moly, I'm rolling now in some dough. But even that, like, that is still not a lot of money to be able to have a lot of freedom in life. Anyways, I got out of broadcast journalism because I realized that I'm going to have to keep moving. I'm going to have to keep covering every negative story to hit my ultimate goal of being on Good Morning America. But I also happened to meet this dude, like, literally a couple weeks before I moved for my other my new job. And I still moved because I was like, I got to go. And um, ended up being like, I think I think I like him a lot and I moved back and moved in with him and now we're married. So anyways, that helped me get out of broadcast journalism. And then I always say I kind of fell into fitness. I started working part-time at a health club and then the beach body opportunity was presented to me by my friend Trina. And I honestly did it because I felt like, you know, I knew I liked fitness and I knew I liked Shakeology and I knew I didn't make a lot of money. I was working part-time at a health club and didn't have savings or any of that stuff, but I wanted Shakeology. So the idea of the discount was great, but also I didn't want to be left out. I was like, okay, everyone's doing this, like in my world, at least in the fitness world. Um, and everyone's excited about this. Like I want to be excited about it too. So that's why I joined. But my biggest fear in the beginning by far was I was so scared. Like I was in the coaching closet because I was so scared about what people might think. And 
you know, um, that's just something that I think we all face in multiple different things in life. What might people think if we really put ourselves out there and say what we're doing? So I was so scared to be like, what if people think I'm a Beachbody groupie? What if they think when I talk to them, I just want to sell them something like just so many of those fears. And I love, you've talked about this a little bit before, and I love that you always say you'd rather be known as a, a fitness groupie than, what do you usually say? A couch groupie. I feel like that's what I said last time. <laughs> yes. I don't know. You always catch me in a different mood on these things. It'd be funny to watch the replays, but yeah. And I mean, I really, I'd rather be known. Something cool happened tonight. Side note. I haven't even told you yet. Oh. Um. So there's this race in our town, the Alaferris race that our hospital puts on. It's a big fundraiser for the hospital. And I've ran it for so long. They have a half marathon there too. We do a train to run group leading up to it. I've done the 5k. I did the half marathon there last year. And so the development director of the hospital came in today and sat down in my office in your chair, actually Freeland. Oh. And um, I was like, hello, Ann, <laughs> how can I help you? She's like, well, and she was like, we would like you and your family to be the honorary chair of the Ella Ferris race this year. I oh know. Right. God. And I was like, really? Like, kind of like, what does this mean? But you know, she said like, you're someone who spreads health through this community and you show up at this race and you stand for healthy families and healthy living. And I'm just like, yes, yes, I do. Like, that's so awesome. So anyways, it just made me kind of think of that. Like, it's such an honor to be asked and get to have an even, like another platform to be able to spread this. But I'd rather be known as someone who is like gung ho, call me a groupie if you want to, but I'm going to be a groupie about the benefits that come from taking care of your health and making yourself a priority. Oh, heck yeah. And I'm sure you heard me say that in those first two years, I was signed up for a discount. I feel almost selfish now for not sharing it earlier because I was keeping that, that nutrition and that good health from other people because I was worried about what people would think about me. And mm -hmm. Sarah, that's just so cool. Like I was thinking earlier today, you know, there are some people who've made comments about how it's annoying or I saw someone actually post recently on Facebook, like, it was, it was, um, she said something like, oh, you'll know the people who are working out and drinking their shakes because they post about it every day. And it was really negative And a lot of negative people were posting under it. Like, oh yeah, haha, ha, that's annoying. And I just read it and I didn't get upset. Why is it annoying? Right. I was just like, you know <laughs> what? I have reached so many people and helped so many people because I'm not afraid to share what I'm doing. And I know how good I feel. Other, those people need this, right? They, yeah, they I know. I'm like, activity. what? Right. <laughs> yes. Like, if you're going to be annoyed because someone else is happy, it's a reflection on you. Yes. Um, but I've learned that through coaching because I love that we're not just working on losing weight and drinking a shake. Like, it's so much more. We're really working on just being able to go through life with a smile that's genuine more often than not and less comparison, more celebration. Just it, it is a better way to live. Absolutely. So, Sarah, mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about how your life has gotten better because of coaching and then just tell us some of the things you love about this team. Oh, gosh. Okay. So, I'm trying to, like, not take all the time. So, um, you're good. I definitely am in great shape, better than I ever have been. I'm really conscious of my health. I don't have a lot of health fears. Gosh, I'm in my late, oh my God, I'm not in my late 30s. Oh, that made me sick to say. Um, I'm 36 <laughs> and I feel like I'm 16. Um, so it is because I've had this positive pressure in my life of being a coach and health and fitness as a priority. When you decide to be a coach, like you're really kind of saying, oh, I'm at 10%. So if I disappear, that's why, just so you know. Cool. Oh, yes. Gotcha. Okay. Just making sure. But when you decide to be a coach, you're really just kind of saying like, you know, I'm making my health a priority. 
And it's, it, I always say it's like signing a contract with yourself. There's no scary contract to sign whatsoever, but you are taking your health more seriously. And I think that that's a reflection of it. You know, you're not going to give up on yourself. You know, you're not going to be perfect. But anyways, that positive pressure in my life of having coaching and saying, no, I made this promise to myself has pushed me to do things I would not have done without it. Mentally, I have, I, after kids, I had postpartum depression, lots of feelings of what's the point. I'd wake up and be like, what's the point? And when you feel like, what's the point? That is the worst feeling because why would you do anything? Like you can barely get out of bed. You like don't want to talk to anyone. Like what's, what's the freaking point? Anyways, um, I was on medication for a couple of years, but I feel like I was really able to work off medication because of a lot of things. But coaching was a big factor in that because fitness still never left my life. I was reading personal development. I remember I read this book that another coach had recommended and they talked about the four chemicals in the brain, um, endorphins, dopamine, serotonin, oxytocin, or oxytocin, and how you can produce more of those in your life. And I'm like, I'm taking a freaking pill to give me more serotonin right now. Like I need to apply this. Um, anyways, just having positivity, being more programmed to see good than bad, like being able to reprogram myself because I was such a pessimist and this community definitely shifted me in this direction. Fitness shifted me in this direction. And then financially, I know Amanda touched on this a little bit too, but like, I didn't become a coach to like pay off debt, but that has become something because as I've just shared this, other people need this. There's a lot of ways to get healthy and a lot of ways that work. It is really about what you'll stick with and what you'll find joy with and what you look forward to because when you have fun with it you keep going and I believe this coaching community is a great way because you get the nutrition you get the fitness you get the support and you get to work on your mindset um those four things like complete a fortress around you that will keep you in this healthy spot but um financially as I was saying you know we've paid off cars we've paid off my husband's student loans. I really want to redo my kitchen right now. And my husband told me I have to pay off our house first. So I'm like, fine, I'll pay off the freaking house, Chris. And then you're going to redo my kitchen. Um, but we just redid our bathroom, our master bathroom. And it was great because we just paid for it as we went. Like I remember at one point when we were first married, we wanted to add onto our house and like just the loans of taking out to do that. I was like, how do people do this? <laughs> A lot of how do people do this? And I know you said that too. And I'm like, I feel like people do this by having a side gig somewhere. That must be it. And thank goodness I found something that I was passionate about. Okay. Amazing. That's all I got. <laughs> That's all. That's all. <laughs> well, I, there's so many other great coaches coming on too. So I don't want to, I could like literally one day, maybe meet just me and you do one. It's fine. Right. It'd be super <laughs> but, fun. <laughs> yeah. I want you to hear from the other amazing teammates coming. Oh, for sure. Well, we definitely appreciate you having, having you on Sarah. None of us would be here if it weren't for you and for you inspiring Aww. all of us. So thank goodness for you and for finding this because it's changed so many lives as we're about to hear including mine. So thank you, friend, for being Yay. on. Um, I, and I'm sure I'll talk to you soon. And congrats on your chair. That's really cool. Thanks. I'm so excited. I just announced it live here. <laughs> and barely told anyone else. All right. I think I can exit myself. I don't I know. So. Oh, yeah, I can. Okay. Found an X. Bye. Oh, I love that. Sarah's always so fun to listen to because she's so genuine about what she believes to be true with this business and it's worked for her. And in turn, that's worked for hundreds of people that she's helped, which is pretty incredible. So next we're going to hear from Katie, who um, is a coach on our team. And Katie, I'm going to go ahead and try to add you. So let's see. If we're going to be two for two, <laughs> sometimes technology is not always user friendly. <laughs> I feel like I should breathe. Oh, Katie. Hey, can you hear I me? I sure can. Can you hear me okay? A little quiet, but. A little quiet. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. I'll try to talk loud. Is that better? Yeah. Good. All right. So for those Perfect. of you watching, Katie is one of my favorite people. She is so sweet and amazing mom and wife and human. And just being around her makes me feel like a better person. So 
Um, oh. I'll just throw in that I invited. Well, no. So it, that's not how it worked. I'll let Katie tell you. So Katie, a little different for you because I know your story. Why don't you tell us how you ended up on my team? Um, just like the, the ins and outs a little bit and then go into sharing maybe before that, did you have fears or hesitations with joining and, and then, or fears or hesitations with starting your own team or inviting other people to do this? Wow. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So, um, I did originally sign up with a coach who was like a loose acquaintance, basically. Um, I worked with her for about three or four months and realized that we were kind of, um, lone rangers. We didn't really have a team around us. And so my sister-in-law, her name is Jessica and she's wonderful. Um, she got talking with me and she said, Hey, my sister is a beach body coach and she's amazing. She meets with her coaches all the time. She stays in touch with them. They have training, all these things. And she totally convinced me to join Amanda's team. Amanda is Jessica's older sister. So we actually joined Amanda together because we just heard what was going on with your team. Uh, it was growing. You guys had a great community of women. And we were like, we want that. Like, we want to be part of that. And so we jumped on that train. And I'm so thankful every day. I'm so thankful that I did that because I needed that. Like, I'm a team player and I needed that support. I needed the training. So I'm really, really thankful that that was possible and that Jessica recommended that. Um, That's awesome. But yeah, jumping in was. I'm just yeah. going to interrupt you for, I'm really for a second because there's something super important you said there. So Katie joined as a coach with someone else. And unfortunately, there wasn't that community there. But then she heard she loved Beachbody. She had done programs before. She knew she loved health and wellness. She knew this opportunity could provide some extra income for her family. Right? So she, then she heard through my sister... Yeah that we had a team that did trainings, that did calls, that actually talked to each other, that supported each other, that were inviting other people to do this too, and she wanted to learn how. So in this Beachbody community, there are a lot of different teams and a lot of different coaches. Here's what I wanna share. Our team is special. Our team really does have a great energy about the positivity and mindset of paying this opportunity forward in a way that can help people change their lives, right? So self-care first, like I said in the intro, is our, our belief really, but what Katie was looking for was more of a community, more training, more opportunity, and it's here because that's what we've built on this team. So Katie, talk to us a little bit about your fears and hesitations. Um, yeah, so I was a mom of three teeny tiny little babes. They're all really close in age. We had just moved. Um, we had one income. I was full time stay at home mom. And like a lot of moms, I had kind of lost touch with myself. I was just mom, you know, I'm cleaning up messes and carrying babies around. And that was everything. It was totally and completely all consuming. And I didn't have the extra money and I didn't have the extra time and I had no real ambitions. I just knew that I needed something for me. I, I was just, I was done and I needed something. I needed something that would just give me a little time with adults and maybe tap into um, health in a way that would make me feel more human. <laughs> you know, I mean, just like any mom that's ever been overwhelmed with little ones, you know, that feeling. Yes. Like you're drowning in your housework and a child is on your leg and a child is in your lap and you haven't had a shower and you can't remember the last time you ate or drank something or used the bathroom with the door closed because, you know, for goodness sakes, if you close the door while you use the bathroom as a parent, Katie, I think so Not many yet. people could relate, relate to that. That's an incredible thing for you to be sharing with other women because that's a real feeling, that feeling of overwhelm and that feeling of needing something for you, which Sarah just commented on. Yeah. Too many women out there don't believe that they deserve to take time for themselves and they don't understand that if they did take that time for themselves, 
they would be a better mom. They would be more patient with their spouse and they would have more love for themselves, which ends up pouring out into everyone else. And I think you do such a great job of sharing that. So Katie, why don't you tell us a little bit about since becoming a coach, the things that you have fallen in love with and the reason that you love being a part of this team? Wow. Um, Absolutely. It is. It's changed so many things, but I have to say first, like the biggest thing is just that community being home full time, you know, I'm stay at home mom, but also a homeschooling mom. And so like literally just home a lot and with little ones a lot. And I, I wouldn't trade it for anything. I love it. But as an adult, you have to have you know, an outlet with other adults. So like just that basic community to have a group of incredible women that hold me accountable and they inspire me and they push me. It's, it's like what Sarah talked about with the positive pressure of like, I can do more. It makes you access a different level, get outside of just mommy world and say, you know what, I can, I can have more than, than just that. And that's been huge for me. That's really changed so many things about my life. And it's made me a more confident person. It's made me happier. (laughs) Um, I'm also in like the best shape of my life, like Sarah said, and I'm so thankful for that because you just feel good in your own skin. And then I get to connect with women. I get to talk to them. I just talked to what, three different women before this call while I was waiting for my turn to get on here, just encouraging them. We're just, I mean, I've connected with them because of health and fitness, but there's nothing magical going on. I'm just, I'm catching up and saying, how are you? You know, I'm just checking in with them and seeing what they're struggling with. And if they're good, are you bad? How can I help? Do you need to talk? And I love that. I just love that connecting with people. It's been so great. It just gives you that platform for community and there's nothing like it. It's awesome. That's amazing. Oh my gosh, such yeah. great answers. I want to keep talking to you, but we have we have two other coaches to have on. Katie, I love you, of course, and your story and what your your goals are and what you're trying to do with this, right? You're so genuine in your want to help other people and other women feel good about themselves, and that's that's what our team is about. Yeah, Sarah, we love that, Katie. That's awesome. Okay, anything else you want to add? Um, the only other thing I would say is that I think I forgot how to dream, which I think a lot of adults do. And this has kind of opened that door again, and that feels good. So if you've forgotten how to dream... This is a really cool opportunity to maybe crack that. Oh my door gosh. Open. That was yeah. amazing. I kind of want to put that on a t shirt. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for sharing that and for all of your time. Um, that was awesome, Katie. I appreciate you for sure. And it's always fun talking with you. So thank you. Have a great night. And I'm sure we'll talk soon. Okay. Bye. Bye. Oh, isn't she wonderful? So sweet, so genuine. Um, And that's exactly how she is in person. The cool thing is, so Katie talked a lot about community. And what's really awesome is as an adult, sometimes it's hard to make new friends and see those friends or feel that pressure of like, oh, if I have this new friend, then I have to take time to see them when you have kids and have a spouse and have activities and have work. That's hard sometimes. With coaching, it's really cool to take the time to do something like this where you get to chat with somebody or see someone or we do conference calls a lot where we have conversations. A lot of times just about things that make life better, which is super fun. It feels like adult time. Sometimes you have a glass of wine with you and just relax and chat with the girls, right? It feels like girls' night a lot. And then the other cool thing is actually getting to meet people in person. So yeah, Katie's my sister's sister-in-law. So, you know, that degree of connection is a little bit closer for us. And I had met her in person once before she became a coach, but I have actually spent more time with her 
and seen more of her because of coaching them because of my sister, which is really cool. And I consider Katie such a good friend now and someone that is super reliable and someone that I know I could go to if I needed something. I, She's a friend and that's really cool about this community. So up next is Teresa. Um, and Teresa, you're going to love her too. She is such a sweet, there's just so many great people on our team. I keep using the same words, but she's, you'll love her. She's super straightforward, which is one of my favorite things. And honestly, just one of my favorite people. I think we've been doing this about the same amount of time. Teresa! Hi, how are Hi. you? I'm great. How are you? Do you have on your Fox wig too? I do. I do. I love it. Of course I do. <laughs> so I just kind of want to be like, how was your day? How are you? I know it's <laughs> been a while. We need to catch up and chat sometime soon. <laughs> I know. And Summit's coming up so fast. So excited. Yay. Super excited. Okay. So Teresa, when you... Yeah first learned about the coaching opportunity or was presented to you, what were your biggest fears and hesitations? So I think when I thought about it at first, I was worried about just spending money on Shakeology every month, to be honest. And then I was also worried about what other people would think about me if I was posting all the time. I remember like posting or taking a picture of myself and sending it to my coach and saying, is this okay to post? Because <laughs> I was just worried about what everybody else was going to think. And now I have learned that more people are out there and supporting you and saying, hey, you're inspiring me than the other way around. So it's just so much better than I thought it would be. Yeah, and I'm sure you heard um, me say to Sarah about the girl who posted something about, oh, if you're working out and you have your shakes – well, no, because yeah. you're posting it. But that's so true. You have, as you just said, you found that more people are out there saying thank you for sharing, thank you for being supportive. So I know you just recently shared on a Zoom show, so there was a young woman who had something tragic happen in her life, but then she came back and reached out to you and said, thank you for never giving yes. up on me. Thank you for checking in on me. That's so yes. powerful. She wasn't buying anything from you. She wasn't, you weren't asking her for something to be there for her, right? Absolutely. And that's what I love about this community. And that's why I love doing what we do is it's not about like trying to get people on board just to get them to buy something. It's about inspiring them to live healthier lives. And really, I mean, this team, especially, we're all in it for the right reasons to help people live healthier and then in turn you get to make a little bit of money you know on the side or whatever it is that it can become because it can become anything but you're doing it with the right intentions you know it's like yes I'm going to help you get healthier no matter what I'm going to check in on you I'm going to see how you're doing I don't care if you don't buy from me right away or if you never buy from me I still am going to support you in your journey you know so that's always important for me, like being a part of this team, especially because I know other things aren't like that necessarily. Yeah. Not all teams are, but ours is pretty exactly. special. <laughs> it is. It so, is. Teresa, tell us, I guess I'm going to make this a two part question. What is your favorite? Okay. What are your favorite things about being on this team? What has the team done for you? And then tell us a little bit. What has the business done for you and for your life? So the team, it's, it's funny. Like when I first started, I was just thinking, I just want a little bit. I, honestly, I wanted to buy my husband something with my own money because I was a professional before this and I was used to being independent and on my own and making my own way. And when I got married and we decided to move across country, I just lost that piece of me. And I just wanted to be able to get a little bit of that back. So that's why I originally started. And um, the team brought so much more to me than I ever expected it to. Because I was like, oh, I'll just do this every once in a while. But then I got involved in it and realized that I had the support and the community. And I've been able to go on trips and meet people and not feel guilty about it. Because everybody, I'm sure, out there has some mom guilt. 
well, this has allowed me to have that fun side of it too. Like, I, I think that's a lot of things that when you sign up, you don't necessarily know you're getting. If you plug in, you get that community sense and you get to go on these trips and you get to meet new people and you get to have fun. And it's just great. <laughs> so that's what the team has brought to me. And it's so funny when you meet people, as you know, that you've only talked to on Zooms and it's just like you've known them forever. You know, it's, it's, it's awesome and because we're all like, like, oh, you're really tall. <laughs> <laughs> The height is always a surprising factor. That's so funny. That's the one thing I'm like, oh, you're taller than I thought, or you're shorter than I thought. It's so funny. But so that has brought that to me. And then the business side of it, I just love working. And just to bring it back to what I do right now, like I work part time at my daughter's preschool. And I have decided to not do that next year. I'm almost 100% positive and the reason being is that i enjoy beach body and being able to stay home and make the income that i can make that way more than i do going and freezing <laughs> and being like with the i love the kids but it's just it's stressing and it's hard on you and so if i know i can be with my other my actual kids more often and not be committed to a job, then I'm going to take that opportunity because they're only young once. So I'm going to start doing this even more, which is exciting for me. That's awesome. And what a yeah. great decision. I love you just announced that here. Yeah. So thank you. <laughs> Teresa, you have so much wisdom. You've been doing this for a while. Would you just share one additional question if you don't mind? What would you say to someone if they're watching and they're thinking, I'm not sure I belong on that team, or I don't know, coaching, what is that really? What would you say to someone who's just feeling maybe that they'd be out of place? It's always scary trying something new. And unless you just take that leap of faith and go for it, you never know what you're going to be missing because there's so much in life that is scary and you never know if you're going to fit in unless you actually try. And the thing about this company is they only want people doing it who actually want to do it. And the team is going to support you no matter who you are. So they make it really easy to get into. There's like no, no um, risk factors in it because if you don't like it, you can simply send an email and quit. Like the it's next not, day. <laughs> yeah. So it's not scary at all. It's just like, why not try it? Why not see something that you are missing in your, like find out if this is what you're missing in your life, because it may just be that thing that you're looking for that brings you more joy than you ever knew that you could have. Like the friendships, just the, the feeling you get when somebody emails you and says, thank you for doing this for me, or I lost 15 pounds. And you feel like you're not doing anything. Like you're just sending a couple messages, running the group and giving them support. And you're like, I'm not doing the work. You're doing the work. But that feeling that you get just knowing that you help that person is remarkable. It's unbelievable. So. And I love that you said that because that brings us back to the point that we always say is so many people don't have even one person in their life who's telling them, yes, you can. Yes, you do deserve to feel good. So when we get those messages from people saying, thank you for doing what you do, we might be the only person in their life who's actually standing up and saying, you can feel good and you deserve to. And here's how I can help you do that. Absolutely. Isn't that great? That's crazy to think that you have the power to do that. And it's just as easy as a simple message saying, hey, I'm thinking of you. Yeah. You can do this. It's crazy. Amazing. Oh, I always love chatting with you. That was me awesome. too, Amanda. Oh, yeah. Well, thank you so much, Teresa. You're welcome. Oh, you're Thanks incredible. for having me. You're very I feel the feeling, feeling is mutual. <laughs> awesome. We'll keep rocking out that firefly year. Oh, don't worry. I will. Isn't it cute, guys? <laughs> <laughs> okay, friends. Thank you. Have a great night, and I'm sure we'll talk soon. Yes, definitely. Bye. Bye. Oh, isn't she great, Teresa? Oh, my gosh. 
she's just another person on the team who really truly you could go to for anything and ask anything and she would be there to help because she believes in our mission of just wanting people to feel better and feel more joy and I loved her answers so so far tonight we've heard from Sarah who went to school for journalism and broadcasting and totally moved to a different state came back for a boy um, totally switched careers and found Beachbody we heard from Katie who is is a stay-at-home mom and homeschool mom and felt like she was missing community in her life and missing something just for her to make her feel connected to other adults and then we just heard from Teresa who was a professional she had a profession she went to college and they moved across the country and with their kiddos they just she decided they decided her and her husband that she wouldn't go back to work full-time and she felt like she was missing something because she enjoyed feeling that professionalism and that connection to a work environment but she knew she didn't want to go back to work full-time because she wanted to spend time with her kids that's where coaching fit in for her when she found coaching and all of us so lit I hope you hear me when I say this all of us have built businesses part-time none of us who do this do coaching seven or eight hours a day we have some odd hours like this right doing call at nine at night but we don't mind because it's fun and we hope that it's inspiring so we have one coach left and this is the coach that I know um, the least because she's new on the team, newer, and I'm very excited to hear from Noelle um, and to hear what she has to say and her perspective on coaching and what it's done for her life. So let's see if we can bring on Noelle. Let's see. <gasps> Noelle! Hi. Oh, I can't hear you. <laughs> Try again. Maybe unplug and plug them back in. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Okay. I'm going to try this without headphones. Are you getting a lot of feedback? Yeah. Yeah. Let me try one. We're four for four, so I didn't do It's a big deal. It is just a lot of feedback. So okay, can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay, good. I feel like the Verizon guy. Can you hear me now? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Oh my gosh. Okay. So yeah, Jackie's thing. Yay. Right. I'm. I'm such a. I'm such a newbie to this compared to everybody else. Yeah. So how long have you been signed up as a coach? Um, I signed up in August. Okay. So, so six months. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm very new compared to everybody else. You know what, though? I love that because in this <laughs> business, the opportunity, you know, everyone should be doing their self-care, but the opportunity to do more with the business is there for anyone who wants to. I waited more than two years to do something, right? You're six months in, but you're starting to help other people. It doesn't matter. So I guess the point is it doesn't matter where you start helping people. It just matters that this team will support you no matter what. And so we love that you're on six months new. <laughs> we had Teresa on and she's been a coach for years and years, right? Yeah. So very cool, different perspective. So Noelle, tell us a little bit about um, how you were invited and what you initially thought. What were your hesitations or did you have objections to joining the team? Yeah, so many. And Jackie can tell you that. Um, so my journey with Beachbody started just a little bit over a year ago. Um, I had lost 20 pounds. I had been keeping it off for a couple of years. But for the last three, four years, um, I'd been working a job where I was killing myself, working like 60, 70 hour weeks. Um, I work in advertising and it is an industry that never sleeps. And, uh, you know, I was working on a really high profile client and it was just late nights, early mornings, always working. And I 
just felt terrible. Like even though I had kept the weight off, like my gut just felt bad and I felt terrible. So Jackie had invited me to do the 21 day ultimate reset last year back in January. So I started kind of eliminating things from my diet, like really joining and participating in the group there with Sarah leading it and really just started feeling totally different. Started introducing Shakeology every day, started doing some of the 21 day fix workouts and doing all the containers and started meal prepping um, and kind of kept up with that while I was still working a ton. And when Jackie first asked me to be a coach, she's like, you're a natural. You just talk to everybody normally for your job, right? I was like, no, <laughs> not going to happen. I have no time. I'm barely sleeping as it is. Like I was overwhelmed. Sorry, Jackie, literally just overwhelmed by the question. And the more we talked about it, the more I was like, you know, I should just do this to at least get the discount on Shakeology. Like a lot of people on this call have said, so I did that at first, um, and right away within like my first month of, month of coaching, um, I had joined To Be Mindset and just was naturally talking to somebody about it, and she was like, yeah, send me some info. Like, I would love to do it. And so within the first month, I got someone to sign up for To Be Mindset and was like, oh, okay, <laughs> like people are going to join me on this. Um, and I was really hesitant to start reaching out to anybody or getting anyone to join because kind of like I'm new to this group, I felt like I didn't fit a mold of a coach. I was like, I'm not that girl who posts on social media and has this like rock and bod and hardcore abs and, you know, biceps and looks amazing for people to look at me and believe, oh yeah, I want to follow her because she looks super healthy. I'm like, no, I don't, I don't look that way. Um, but as I started joining challenge groups and as I started doing more with the people on this team and the women in this community, the more I just realized, I mean, everybody here comes from a different background, has a different story, has different life stressors. And it's like Sarah always says, it's mindset and midsection. And it was like, as soon as I shifted that to be my outlook and realizing I don't care what other people think, I want to do this for me and I want to get other people to come along with me, like, boom, I started dropping weight. I started making it time for me and not like this overwhelming, oh my God, this is like another time suck that I'm going to have to just divide another portion of myself you know, into amongst everything else that I'm doing. So, yeah, you know, well, I'm going to interrupt you really quick because mm -hmm. holy cow, girl, <laughs> all a lot. this is amazing. So the first thing I want to touch on is you felt like you didn't fit the mold of what a coach should look like because your body wasn't necessarily how you thought it should look. Here's what I found. I've been doing this for a long time and I'm so grateful that you said that because people in society want to follow people and want help from people who have done the hard work themselves or who are still working on themselves. They don't relate to people who look perfect. Most people don't relate to somebody who has a perfect six pack and who looks great in everything they wear, right? Most of us have these struggles or are super stressed and overwhelmed. Those are the people we're trying to help by showing them that we, if we can do this, right? So you, sorry, you saying that you were super stressed and overwhelmed, but that you found time to do this. So that was the second thing I wanted to touch on was you said it didn't feel like something else that would be a time suck. And I love that on this team, it starts to become not, oh, I have to do this, right? Beachbody never feels like, oh, I have to sit down and do this. Oh, I have to message these people. It really feels like, wow, I get to inspire people. I get to help these people. I get to jump on a Zoom tonight and learn something new from people I admire in this business, right? So it feels more like an opportunity and an honor and a privilege really to help people and inspire people than it feels like, like you said, like a time suck. And I love that you said that. <laughs> um, yeah. So keep going. Any other fears, any other fears or objections? You I mean, I think just... <laughs> Like everybody else, I just was scared of what, what everyone else would think about me doing it. And uh, 
I sit right next to it every single day. People who sit next to me at my office, um, my boss sits right next to me and comments on what people post all day long on social media. Oh my God, this person's posting a picture of their food. Oh my God, this person's posting whatever. As he's like sucking down Diet Coke and eating peanut M&Ms. And I'm like, oh. that's fine. Like I found inspiration in it. And I feel like a lot of other people find inspiration in it. And I think either Katie or Sarah said, you know, what I've learned and what my thought process was, I think going into it before being an outsider is it's not trying to sell anything. It's trying to inspire other people to come along with you because that's what keeps me motivated. That's what's continuing to push me on my journey. And then I can help other people along with their journey too. Yeah, that's amazing. And I love too about your boss. Like I really come to believe so anyone really, honestly, almost anyone could say anything right to me. In, in a judgmental kind of way. And I can really just sit back and process it and appreciate the fact that it's their opinion, right? I really truly believe because of coaching, I've been able to accept that everyone is allowed to have their own opinion about anything they want. I don't have to take it personally and I don't have to respond to whatever their opinion is because I know 100% what I believe to be true about this business that it's changed my life, that it's changed my health, that it's changed my attitude, that it's changed my family. At one point years and years ago, Noel, with which this is maybe a little FYI for you, because <laughs> we don't know each other that well yet, but my husband and I had to sit down and have a really serious conversation. This was before kids, where I said to him, I can't picture a life with someone who doesn't want health and wellness, because he hadn't decided to join me in working out yet. This was like, seven years ago, right? We've been married. It'll be 10 years in June. That was, that was a hard conversation to have. But when I got into the mindset of, oh my gosh, a life of health and wellness can really change everything. He wasn't coming with me. He was gaining weight, gaining weight. And we were sitting on the couch one night and we had that conversation and thank goodness. Like, I, I don't know, like if health and wellness hadn't come in, what would our relationship be like? Or would it even be there? Like, that's kind of scary to think mm -hmm. about you know? Yeah, well, no, anyway, for sure. Anyway, that just sparked that little thought. <laughs> that little, but really, I mean, it changes so much when you just decide that you know for sure what you believe. And yeah. I knew for sure when I started drinking Shakeology, I felt better. No one can argue with me about that. It mm -hmm. changed how I felt from the inside out. And it still does. If I don't, if I skip a day, for some reason, like it doesn't work in my day or we're traveling or something and I don't happen to be prepared, which doesn't happen a lot anymore. I can feel, I feel different. I don't feel as good. I'm not as regular in the bathroom, which maybe that's too much information for people, but that's part of being healthy too. Right. So anyway, yeah. Be, <laughs> once you're sure, once you're in this and you're sure because you feel it, that's the most powerful thing we can do to inspire other people. So Noel. To finish up here, tell us, so you've been in this for six months and you just shared so mm -hmm. many amazing things. Tell us really what you love about the team and what's changed for you in a positive way since joining as a coach. Yeah. I mean, like a lot of the other coaches said, I just love this community. I feel like it's a community of cheerleaders and for the first time in my life, I feel like I'm showing up for myself but then other people are showing up for me too. And then I want to show up for them. So that has been the biggest thing. And there's so many women in these groups who, you know, are all shapes, sizes of all backgrounds, have all different difficulties in their life. And I was talking to a friend about the program the other night and she said, so it's like people who are really hardcore into fitness, right? And I said, no, it's it's everyone across the spectrum, right? It's like stay-at-home moms who have 
<laughs> more pounds to lose. And well, and I said, everyone's got their own challenges. For me, it was my work hours and trying to find the time to dedicate to me. And I said, I look at so many of these women who have children and are posting videos like doing push-ups with children on their backs and, you know, their kids are doing Transform 20 with them. And it's just so inspiring to see like, okay, if she can do it, I can do it. Like if they can do it, I can do it. And we all can do it together. So that's been the biggest thing for me is it's just been this community and probably what I'll say openly has in, during what has been a little bit of a tumultuous time in my life, just with other things in my career and personal life. And like, this has been a place where I found that I feel so comfortably me, which I have not felt in a really long time. That's amazing. <laughs> I'm so glad you just said that. This, this team is for any personality. You just have to want to be healthy and you're very more than welcome here or you just want to have to learn how to right. be a little bit healthier, right? You don't even have to be healthy yet. But yes, I mean, so many people have an objection to time. And if someone like you can just decide, I need this for me, I'm going to make the time, you can make it happen. We make things happen in our day, right? So I'm sure a lot of you watching have heard, you can either make reasons or make excuses. So Noelle, you made a reason, right? You created a reason to take care of you instead of an excuse. And I think that's pretty powerful. Thank you. And <laughs> did you just recently maybe post a picture with someone else? <laughs> I did. I, I posted one earlier tonight and kind of Why like you were you saying. <laughs> uh, so I'm down 16 pounds, uh, 17 and a half inches. Um, and to your point of people really cheering you on or posting things negatively, um, before I even jumped on this with you guys, I was trying to like keep up with all of the positive feedback and just like love that people were giving to me and people that were messaging me and reaching out. And it's just an incredible feeling of belonging. And it's really nice. I mean, it's still scary. Like I still felt like I was going to throw up everywhere <laughs> posting it. Um, cause I'm not, you know, I don't post all the time. Um, so yeah, but it was really nice. It, it felt really good. And just Again, that's more motivation for me. I'm like, all right, I've put that out there. <laughs> People know this now, so there's no turning back. I'm not going to go yeah. up. I'm only going to keep going down when it comes to the scale. So. That's absolutely right. And heck, yes, people are cheering you on, as they should. You should be super proud. You've worked super hard. You put in that time and effort because you chose to. And if there's someone sitting at home thinking, oh, that's so annoying, you know what, poo-poo on them. They, <laughs> they need this more than we do right now, right? If they're thinking that way, like Sarah said earlier, it's always a reflection of how they feel about themselves more than actually being annoyed that you've done something good for you, right? It's, it's just something in their own life that they feel badly about or maybe a reflection of, gosh, I wish I could do that, but they won't say that. Instead, they'll say, oh, that's annoying, right? Right. So that's sad, because we should, we should want those people on our team too, but they have to get there themselves. And a lot of that is mindset work. And sometimes that's tough for people. So yeah. congratulations on your Thank success. You. Thank you so much for being on tonight. You are so fun to talk to. And it was fun <laughs> to get to know you a little bit more. I love your story. Um, and I'm sure I'll see you soon. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being on. Have a great rest of your night. All right. Bye. Bye. Ah, woohoo! Okay, so if you're watching and you want to give like some hearts or something for everyone that was on tonight, that'd be super appreciated. But here's so, in conclusion, we heard from four amazing women tonight on this team, all very incredibly different stories, but all with the common theme of this team, not just Beach Body, right? So we even heard from Katie who said she was a coach on it with someone else and it wasn't working, nothing was happening. She was just signed up as a coach, but they didn't do anything, right? This team has done something to transform a part of their lives. That is really powerful and really cool. And if you're watching because someone invited you, like Teresa said, 
you don't know what this team could do for you or your life or your joy or your happiness or potentially your income unless you say yes and, and attempt to try. We believe in self-care first. Then when you're ready, if it's two years like it took me two years or six months like Noel, then maybe go inspire a couple of people who are close to you in your life, right? Then if that feels good and feels right to you, then you can take that further and reach out to more people, okay? So self-care always comes first. So if someone invited you, they see some potential in you, they see, you know, something fun or that you could contribute to the team or that you belong here for a reason because you do. And our team is growing and people, people are, their lives are changing for the better on this team. So reach out to whoever invited you to watch or to tune in tonight or whenever you're watching this and please let them know that any questions that you have or any follow-up that you'd like, any follow-up that you'd like to go over. Thank you so much for watching and have a really great night.